on guys wanted to show you something pretty cool i got a brand new snow plow to show you that i picked up maybe about a week or two ago just haven't had time to show it so you guys remember my 2015 f-250 there's a little bit of a different plow on there now so i'm very excited to show you guys this we turn the camera on and show you it all right so you guys remember this i don't know if i had the lights on in my last video but there's a light bar bought a western wide out for this truck so i'm very excited about this there's more to come on it but this is a eight foot plow and then uh, extends out to 10 feet the wings move it's all hydraulic it's really really cool i've used these plows before and wanted to get one so that's what i did um people are going to ask the price on this thing when i bought it uh two weeks ago i got the plow and then i went for the extra led headlights those are about another 500 bucks for the nighthawks the thing with the westerns is is you can just if, if you have already uh halogen setups you cannot use uh nighthawks if you have other plows because the wiring harnesses are different if you just have nighthawks that's like if i have buddies that have all the halogen setups i can't hook up to their plows uh like light wise because or even to power them because it's a different harness so one thing to know but if i'm starting with westerns this way i'm just going to get the nighthawks going forward the plow and the led headlights installed 10,450 bucks plus tax so probably around 10 7 10 8 something like that and then uh we just waxed this thing we used the uh it's called snow plow wax you can see it's actually keeping the water off decent and stuff like that i don't really care about that so much it's more just to prevent it from rust and all that sort of stuff my dealer told me not to use fluid film they recommended something else so i'm trying that this time and seeing how it works um the nighthawk headlights are awesome so far haven't really gotten to pl i haven't plowed with this plow at all yet actually might get to this week there's blinkers built in and then there's brights as well so i'll get to show you guys that at night um but i want to show you so i'm in wisconsin this is the place i went to Truck and Auto Elegance, Waukesha, Wisconsin. That's the place to go. Uh, Tracy has been very, very awesome helping me out, getting stuff set up. Um, one of the reasons I went with the Western as well is the way it mounts. It's super, super easy, super convenient. Chain lift, all that other stuff. So let me get in here and I'll show you this plow in action. So we're inside the cab of the truck here. I do have uh, my Boss Salter on here still, which is good. These are my auxiliary switches. We use three and four because they're a lower, I think, amperage or something like that. So or voltage. I don't know my electrical stuff. Good thing I have friends that do. Uh, so you'll be able to see the strobe light off there and then my reverse lights off. Uh, it's still daylight, but I can try and show you. These are the brights and then I don't know if the blinker. Yeah, you can't even make out the blinkers. But anyway, I want to show you guys the controller and all that other stuff. Uh, if I could turn off the blinker first. There we go. So here's the controller right here. Um, this is on off. So that's off. This is on. We're gonna raise up the plow. It's a very heavy plow. It'll actually lift above those headlights, so I cannot drive down the road like this. Uh, so it's eight feet wide right now, and then what I can do is I can scoop it so I can bring the wings out on both sides. Uh, if I go back just a hair, that's gonna be 10 feet. So I have a 10 foot straight blade, right? And then uh, what's nice is I can scoop it both that way. So now both wings are angled, so I can actually scoop snow this way. And then what's cool is you can actually turn it and go around corners with it either way, which is awesome. And then the really cool part is if you're windrowing snow and you wanna contain it so it doesn't spill off the side. So let's say I'm containing, or I can bring that wing straight, leave that one in the scoop. And as I'm plowing, it won't spill over the side. So when I'm windrowing, instead of like a normal straight blade where you could, if it's eight foot, you could only plow maybe six feet of it five feet of it just so it doesn't spill over right now i'm nine feet from the edge of this plow all the way over with that wing out so i can plow a full nine feet uh which is cool and i can do it both ways so i can bring this one out by just pressing the wing button and i can bring this one up by pressing the wing button and then i can go the other way with it which is super super handy uh drive the plow down it's just so, so nice. So then, uh, yeah, and then if I got a straight pass, back dragging even perfect, perfect, 10 feet of back dragging. Or you get in a tight spot where you can't quite fit, just press the retract, you can bring it down, you can plow this wide, you can scoop, bring them both out at the same time. So scoop's gonna bring them both out at the same time, like that. Retract, gets you to your straight blade, and then if you wanna just use each wing independently, you could have one half in, you leave, leave it like that, you can go out with it. So when you press it one way, it's gonna go in. You let go, you press the other way, it's gonna go the other way, if that makes sense. So you basically have to double tap if you want it to go a certain way or not, but that's what's nice about it. You can bring in both wings independently, like so. Scoop, again, just like that. And then retract by itself. And all of these functions, you can turn left 
and right, which is awesome with it. And then you're good to go. So then uh, make sure you, when you drive, <laughs> I gotta get this thing adjusted a little bit just cause it's, it drops a little too fast. Um, I have to drive about like this, which the plow is plenty high enough off the ground, but it's it's super, super slick setup. So this remote itself is decent. A very, very small plug-in wire down here below the truck. It's super tiny, uh, but it works. Um, one thing I like about the Boss controllers is it has like a little grip that goes around your hand. Uh, that's what cool thing that Boss has going for it. A lot of people hate these controllers. They say it's too complex after you use it for like two, three storms. It's honestly, you don't have to look at it at all. So. And then you got simple on off and then i think to float it if i drop it down you gotta like uh the already in float otherwise usually you double tap it or hold it down or whatever so but honestly with the westerns you're pretty much already in float because of the chains so i don't really understand the point of having a float on a plow like this but anyway this is going to be the truck that i'm using single cab long bed you can see i'll have my back rack and what's interesting too is i went with this style back rack it does not really affect my view at all so i have the salt in the back there and i'll have my salt there as well and we'll be all set up for for winter and my my lights are up out of the way you can see one of them over there the other one right there and the other one's way up there but that's about it for this setup here so that is the new wide out guys i really am excited about this and can't wait to show you if you guys want to see some plot videos i'm thinking of like this angle right here so if that looks cool to you guys let me know down in the comments below i want to get a gopro and get some plowing footage this winter just for you guys so if you're interested in seeing that let me know and i will uh be happy to do that all right you guys so that's the western wide out brand new for 2022 for me the plow itself has been around for probably about 10 years um um, and very excited because I was originally told that I wouldn't be able to get this plow till January. So I decided I'd probably wouldn't end up getting it. Went to the equip show in Kentucky, tried asking a Western rep there because Western's made rate. I'm in Wisconsin and they're made rate in Milwaukee, which is like a half hour for me. So I tried asking at the dealer or at the show and I said, hey, is there any way to get a wide out? And they're like, ah, you're looking at January. They told me the same thing. So I'm like, okay, is what it is i get back i knew i had to order a plow because i wanted to have a spare plow because my other plow went on this truck over here which i'll that's going to see that in another video but i wanted to make sure i could still get a plow so i was going to end up ordering a boss but i go there and i say hey i just want to ask one more time is there any way to get a wide out she's like let me call she calls she goes well they have one and they can get it to us in two weeks I said, okay, that sounds good to me. So I ordered it, went with it, and that's what it is. And you guys that I, I told you what the price was already, about 10 8 out the door or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm all set up, ready for snow. And if it snows, I'll be ready to go. And if it doesn't snow, I'll still be ready to go. So that's a nice thing. It's a little bit late in the year to have stuff like this installed. But we haven't had – we had two storms so far. So – uh, one plowable vent and one salt run and I think maybe one more salt run actually so three events so I'm all good to go but yep guys if you like what you see here please be sure to subscribe I have a ton of videos that still need to get posted and get edited this is going to be one of them and hopefully it's out here soon for you and uh, I'll see you guys here in the next video take care